Meanwhile, Tusky supermarket's woes have deepened after its landlord at the Greenspan Mall placed the branch on auction. Dennis Otieno has more on this and other stories making headlines on the business scene. In a notice, Sanex auctioneers say they will descend on Tusky's branch at Greenspan Mall in Nairobi's Donom area on the 22nd of this month. The auctioneers have put the retailer's assets such as fast-moving consumer goods, electronic appliances, among others, on sale over rent arrears. Cooperative Bank of Kenya has emerged top in the franchise ranking, according to the first half banking report by Cyton Investments. The report attributes this to high efficiency levels as evidenced by a low cost to income ratio at 60.1% compared to the industry average of 67.4%. I&M Bank was ranked top in terms of comprehensive ranking of listed banks. Elsewhere, the Kenya Bureau of Standards has confiscated 583 boxes of substandard cotton earbuds made of wood stem. The goods under the brand name Chico were nabbed in Naivasha and Nyaururu for not meeting the specifications. Kebs also seized knitting yarns by the brand name Brazilian Wool in Nakuru for non-compliance. And finally, Kenyans remain upbeat in their skills to thrive despite the COVID-19 pandemic. A global survey by Standard Chartered shows 89% have the skills to thrive in a more digital post-COVID-19 world, while 93% would set up a second income stream. 87% would retain or learn a new skill. Respondents in China, Malaysia and India followed closely. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.